folks, this is Adam from 911 Reviews. Today we've got a fun review for you. We're gonna extend it out and I'm gonna show you what's in this chrome bag here in a moment. We are looking at water shoes. That's right, Sequay. Water shoes, um, quick drying, very stylish and fashionable. And we've been talking about for months going out on the lake out back. We're up in the man cave right now for the introduction. But I'm gonna take you out, maybe kayaking here in a moment, we're going to use these water shoes. So let's kick it off right about now. So what do we have here? First, I've already taken these out of the bag, but I want to put them in just for effect so you can see kind of um, the unboxing thing. We don't normally do unboxing videos, and I'm not a fan of unboxing because oftentimes you open up a box, you don't know anything about the product. You have to use it, wear it, and try it out. So in reality, I'm not a fan of unboxing videos, but it is a fun effect to slowly open something up, say, ooh, look at the package, it's so nice and shiny, and then get to the goodies. So it does have an effect, but for all intents and purposes, I like to give a complete and thorough review of the product. Now, these come to us, they're Sequay. Uh, in this case, we've got a size 45 Europe, that's 11 or 12 US. And I'm gonna try these things on here in a moment. First, let's get a quick thumbnail, thumbnail. I don't know what's the best way to display these, maybe this way. You can see the stylish design. Now I will say it is interesting, instead of your traditional tie them up or just elastic, these do have a little, um, just a quick zip type scenario, which is very easy to use. Next up, um, they stretch around your feet so they are going to be very snug if you, so if, I mean, that's kind of the best way to do it because with water shoes, you want them being snug enough to where they're not gonna come off when they're in the water and filled with water. You ever try to walk in the water with flip flops and they kind of stick into the sand and then pull up? That's why you want them fairly tight. Um, you can see this is a stylish design. It has not quite a Nike swoosh, but a bit of a swoosh in its own. I'm sure that, um, I'm sure that's intentional. People like that little aerodynamic aspect to it. They're breathable. You can see quick wicking. Um, something you're gonna want in a water shoe is something that dries fast, because you don't wanna be walking around with wet feet and get foot fungus and all sorts of gross things. So that's definitely something you're going to be looking for. Now, it does have kind of the toe design here. Um, some shoes will end with a line. These ones actually go up a little bit more, which is a little bit better for grip. Now you're also going to look at in a good pair of these shoes is if the grip type meets what you want. And with a water shoe, you don't want it too slick on the bottom. Cheaper ones are slick on the bottom. And if they're slick on the bottom, you'll fall on your bottom. So obviously you're going to want that um, to be somewhat um, abrasive, kind of a little bit more pattern, and patterns going different directions. If you just had three lines, you would easily slide. If you just had lines this way, you twist your ankle. So it's good to have kind of a design that mimics the human foot. And you can see here, toes so you can grasp, and you've got kind of a design here that allows your heel to hit, okay? Now, they're lightweight. You can see, um, I can hold them up with two fingers pretty easily there. Um, you're gonna want a fairly lightweight shoe and something that allows drainage of the water out the sides uh, when they get wet. So I think the best way to display these is probably going to be after this video, I'm gonna go ahead, lace them up, put them on for you, show that aspect. And then after that, we're gonna go out to the lake. I'm gonna get in the kayak. I'm gonna get them in the water, really test them out and give my you know, they're still wet, let's look at them, let's give a review um, and talk about them accordingly, all right? So let's, let's look at the other one here. And um, yeah, right and left. They have the, um, so you can put them on easily. They've got a little um, thing here. It's sturdy, not gonna break you. Again, if you're buying cheaper shoes, these types of things will break. Um, this, again, is a nice aspect. You're gonna want them to dry quickly. I picked the gray, and I think the gray is very stylish. 
I have a lot of black and whites in my catalog, so that's just the style I go with. Um, certainly, pick out your favorite style, colors, design, that sort of thing. The brand is called Sequay, and you can pick them up online. I'll go ahead and put all the details and information in the description below. You can click through the link and purchase the product itself, and I highly recommend you do that. And before we continue, make sure you've clicked like on this video. If you watch this far, go ahead and click the subscribe button. You're going to want to hear more reviews and more discussion from me. I certainly appreciate that. Um, the shortcut to our YouTube channel is 911reviews.com. So again, click like, then click the subscribe. If, you've sub if you're already a subscriber, go down and select the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That'll make sure you get all of our updates, which I'm sure you definitely want to hear all about our new products. And this, this is one of those videos that's kind of for me. I like, um, every once in a while I get a product that I really like and I just talk about it and show it and show it off and give it a little more attention, a little more detail because I think it's worth it. And this one is worth a little more detail. So we're gonna take you out on, on the lake here in a moment. So stick around and let's move off to that. All right, next up we're gonna show you actually putting these shoes on. You can see they condense really good. So for storage, you know, you can put these away, put them in a sleeve somewhere in the closet, forget about them when you don't need them, hang them up, let them dry. This is actually, this actually works well for letting them dry as well. Just put them on a hook somewhere. So let's go ahead and slide these things on. Now, you'd be surprised at how easy they are to put on. Just slide your foot in, and they're in, right? How easy is that? In fact, I'll stand up for you so you can see the full shoe. There we go. And um, very nice, right? Not against it. So I'll go ahead and slide on the other one here and model them accordingly. So here's a close up of the shoes. See if I'm in frame. Yeah. Very nice, right? Grip is good. Size is dang near perfect. See, my toe goes right to the very end. I probably could have used a little larger. And you just kind of want to tighten down accordingly. Very smooth. Stretches, meets the foot, great water shoes. I think you're gonna like it. All right, so it turns out, this really happened, my kayak went ahead and slipped away from the dock and went into the water. Fortunately, I do have my very nice shoes on. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. And I can go into the water and go get it actually happened this wasn't set up so first I don't have to worry about um, any of the shells anything that's here I can walk through the muck if I want and not have to worry about what kind of grossness is going on my feet what do we find here that is a really old snail shell wow I think yeah I don't know what that is all right so let's check it out and these are the type of things that you're gonna have to worry about. Oh, that one's still living maybe? I don't know, no. But step on those and they can be very sharp. So we gotta get in here. We can go under this way. Stylish and effective. All right, so kayak is out. But I have to somehow get it out under the dock. So I'm going to push it this way. Oop, now I gotta get around real quick before it floats away. <laughs> Fortunately, I got these water shoes. There you go. So I'm gonna go over and get my pedal and again. Water shoes are coming in very handy. But normally, things like this will be very sharp. All right, let's do this, right? All right. day for paddling my shoes now as somebody who paddles a lot these can get very abrasive on your feet so if you will let me go ahead and paddle a little bit and you 
can see, having water shoes is a nice addition. Also, it's Florida, so maybe you don't want your bare feet in here. They have alligator snapping turtles. They have all sorts of things that may or may not be great for your feet. All right, folks, now we're out here on the lake. I hope you can hear me all right. Um, and the big thing, I'm pulling up to the dock here, the big thing that's great about shoes like this is you can get into kind of muckier water like this and not worry about something. Now, if I reach down, I'm gonna be able to find all sorts of seashells that are smashed up from the birds that have been eating all the clams and shells and snails and things like that. I don't have to worry about cutting my feet on them. And I honestly don't like walking around in this water without a good pair of water shoes. So let's check it out, right? Sam, I'm coming up into this area, I can put my feet in, not worry about it. And there you go, like the water shoes themselves really are helpful. Let me get back in here. There we go, I'm in frame. And um, they make a difference. So, see that? And if I'm docking my, if I'm docking the canoe, This wasn't planted. These are the things that were right by the shore where I was walking. And I can tell you what, any of these shelves would cut your feet. Look at this one. A big old snail shell that's been crushed a little bit. Some bird has been having a good time with that. We get uh, great blue herons that will go ahead and pull these snails out. They'll smash them up against the docks, tap on them, and they'll go ahead and really cause some damage. So folks, let me turn this up for you. See me in here. I'm gonna go ahead and show one more time, but for all intents and purposes, these shoes, <laughs> will save the day when it comes to not hurting your feet. So as a quick FYI, this is the lake that I try to kayak every morning. It's great to have a good pair of water shoes with me. One of the things I do every morning is circle the lake and look for trash that I need to pick up. Are there any um, cans, wrappers, soda bottles, that sort of thing that I need to go ahead and get out of the water? Now, will be an advantage now that I have these water shoes. I keep the lake pretty clean, and I think most of the neighbors do. It's a private man-made lake, Lake Kenda. And keep it looking nice. So let's see how these mangroves are, not mangroves, cattails over here on the left. If they have any debris, any dirt, anything that I need to get out and get. Generally speaking, it looks pretty good today. I don't see anything floating in the water. You can imagine, see how, I mean, the water isn't perfectly clear. This is Florida. There could be gators and turtles and Lord knows what in the water. There we go, look at that. Well, something in the water. Looks like a box. But you don't want to be walking around without your shoes. Can you see what I'm talking about here? Like, let's see. Maybe hard to see on camera. But. Go ahead and step in. Well, it looks like it was just some leaves. So good news is I'm not afraid to step in. And the even better news is that wasn't trash. But if you're gonna walk up in something like this, this level of debris, I'll tell you what, you are not going to want, my feet back in here, you are not gonna want to put your feet in that water 
And you know, the great thing about these shoes, they're multi-versatile. You can use them for all sorts of activities. If you're gonna go rock climbing, you're gonna go on a quick jog afterwards, you're going to be very happy with a set of shoes like this. There we go. That's beautiful, right? Yeah, as beautiful as it is, you're not gonna to wanna to just walk around without some sort of protection on your feet. You gotta protect your things. That's a sign that I read in the Bahamas. A big old sign saying, take care of your personal health. You gotta protect your tings, T-I-N-G-S. It's a lot harder to film by yourself while you're canoeing and try to keep this stable. I feel like I deserve an award for this. But it is nice that you can join me and see what I do on a regular basis here in Lake Kenda. There's the back of my house, my dock. Plenty of cattails. The cattails are actually a very protected species. docking time. Uh-oh. There we go. Lots of, lots of cobwebs and things under the dock, huh? All right, folks. The nice thing is, if you want to get out, you can get out, you can put your feet in the water, and there's no big concerns here, because you have these nice shoes that will dry quickly. Again, not the cleanest water, so sometimes it's nice to have something to protect your feet gotta protect your tings. So it's a nice set of shoes. They're smooth. Um, they do protect your feet. And yeah, if you're out on a lake like this, you're not going to want to um, not wear shoes like that. If you're out mountain biking or hiking or even walking on a little path like this, there's so many things that can mess with your feet. It's good to have a nice pair of shoes available. All right, folks, so final words and thoughts. Let's take these off. You can see they did dry pretty quick, dry wick, which is nice. It's a nice pair of shoes. I think they are stylish, they are sleek. Again, I always go with the gray. That's just my style. That's why I have a, a black shirt. I think I might go with a blue shirt sometime because it'll stand out a little better against the backdrops and backgrounds. Um, easy on and off, like you saw, I took them right off in front of you. I think this is going to be a good pair of shoes for you and your family. So go ahead, uh, click like and subscribe. We have new videos all the time. Make sure to leave me comments, ask questions if you have them. I'd be happy to help. I'm sure the makers of these shoes would be happy to help as well. And um, yeah, thanks again for watching, folks. Um, it's good to have you. Adios, amigos. And don't forget to check out our favorite product review and tech gadget page, 911reviews.com. 911 is a fun, energetic, and entertaining YouTube page for your favorite phones, outdoor gear, and pretty much anything in your Amazon shopping cart. If you love pop culture, entertainment, and a little bit of science, then check out the link in the description below. Alright folks, if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and click the like button, click subscribe, or also check out one of these videos. I think you're going to like them. We've got new videos every single week. We are 911 Reviews. I'm Adam with my buddy Sean, and we do a lot of product reviews. we got Beth and Leanne as well, kicking it off, trying to keep it exciting. So click that subscribe button and check out one of these videos.